Okay, welcome back. Last time we dueled Marek on Fire Mountain, and, well, we had a bit of a slower duel, but we did manage to have a pretty solid victory. And today should be the penultimate episode, as we go and duel our next opponent. Okay, that's an odd one. I wouldn't have expected Shadi to be the second to last duel in the game, but I guess we're going to be dueling him on the Sealed Sanctuary. A shrine holding an ancient dragon. The power of the H attributes are strong here, but the area is growing unstable. Okay, so let's see what Shadi has to say. Like, I don't know. Maybe this is like evil Shadi or possessed Shadi or something. I don't know. It's weird to see him here as the second last opponent. Like, I never would have expected that. To be able to duel you again, I can sense a greater force at work. Is that so? I will put you to the final test. Let us see if you can pass it. Prepare yourself, Yuhi. It's time to duel, Shadi. Yeah, I would not have expected Shadi to be you just like, hey, just like, I would have never expected him to pop up like again like right at the end to be honest i wouldn't have expected it perfect he went for attack second that is great for me but yeah like that's a bit of an odd choice okay so he has one two three dark monsters one fire one dark one lightning two lightning okay so he has two thunder one fire four dark so i want uh, I want light, obviously. Uh, wait, so he has thunder, fire. He has thunder, fire, dark. So I want what? Earth? Yeah, I want earth. So I can bring Tori. I can also see what soothing earth does. Helps one monster. Oh, it actually heals. Oh. That's kind of nice, actually. It's a little healing ability. You know, could it definitely would have liked to have had access to that a lot sooner. Uh, I'll bring Lamoon. I'll bring one of my Oku beans. Do I just bring the Blue Eyes White Dragon? I could just bring the Blue Eyes White Dragon. You know what? Let's just bring the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Why not? Uh, we need Dark, so I'll bring... Like, Dark Monsters get a massive boost on this field, so I'll bring the Barrel Dragon. Uh, I still need an Earth Mon- No, wait, I have an Earth Monster. Um... So what else did he bring? He brought one Fire. There are four Lights. Uh, I'll bring another Dark Monster. I'll bring my Feral Limp. Okay, I have 112 points left, so let's just see what I can bring. Uh, I can bring it. I could bring another Oku Beam. I could bring the Cockroach Knight. I could bring Jigen Bakudan. Uh, I will bring a second Feral Imp, I think. I'll bring my second Feral Limp, mostly because, yeah, I get the, I have the type bonus by using Light, but I also get a much better bonus by using Dark. And by that, I mean I have get the proper field bonus from using Dark, so uh, who knows? I, this may be a bad decision, but, well, we've made the choice now. Also, uh, wait, which one is it? Is this drag- Like, hang it's on. Time to stop like, this would be a dragon up here, right? Can I zoom the camera out? Yeah, like, is that meant to just be a generic dragon? Is, meant, is that meant to be, like, the Eye of Tamias or something? I'll be totally honest, I still need to- Wait. Dark beats. No way, yeah. I was, for some reason, I thought. For some reason, I just had a moment of just like, wait, does dark beat light? <laughs> okay, let's summon up Lamoon. And I think that should be the last thing I can summon this turn. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, let's see what Shadi has. Here I come, Yugi. So, what does he have? Because Shadi doesn't really have any iconic monsters to him. Uh. 
I don't. Okay, that's a Karibo by the looks of it. And a Needle Ball. Uh, that last thing, that first thing, someone looks down. kind of bull-like, so that might be Ushioni. That is indeed Ushioni. Wait, that's already level 2. Okay, so he, so the AI is actually getting slightly stronger monsters. So I'll just, uh, as always, I'll just try to focus on summoning my monsters for my first couple of turns. So there's my blue eyes white dragon on the field now. Honestly, I'm so glad I could get one of those from Kaiba. Realistically, what I should have done is went back and dueled him a couple more times in free duel to get more. Uh, so what else did he summon here? I mean, I can always just check on my turn, can't I? Okay, that's a mega Thunderball that he just summoned. I know that much for certain. But yeah, I need to actually go back and fully finish the original anime. Because when I was a kid, I never finished it because I kind of got... I'll be honest, I kind of lost a lot of interest during the whole Seal of Orikalkos stuff. Like, I kind of just bounced off of that. I never really liked it very much. Uh, and then... And after that, I don't think the final season actually aired it here. Like, I think it was only in Japan, because I don't think 4Kids dubbed it. I might be wrong on that, but I know that I've never seen the original ending of Yu-Gi-Oh. I've never actually seen the ending of 5D... No, of uh, GX, even. I never watched much of 5Ds. Like, I've seen a little bit of it. It seems kind of fun. And, you know, uh, card games on motorcycle memes aside... So what is that? Terra the Terrible? Okay. And that is Taihoon 2. I guess I guess these kind of make sense. Like, Shadi isn't really a guy who ever had any iconic monsters of his own. So I guess it makes sense why he would just kind of have a generally kind of mixed type of deck. Okay, let's move this forward to here. We'll move forward again. Uh, I will continue to just kind of gradually move all of my monsters forward and keep the blue eyes white dragon where it is. Because if I can keep that alive, it means I can bring it to the final duel. <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to use it. I mean, hopefully I'll be able to get to the final duel. And Ushioni gets in range now. Which actually... Oh... What is happening here? But did the dragon get out? What happened? No. Okay. Oh, the dragon moves a little. That's kind of cool. Okay, so Scalangel can't hit him from here. Oku Beam might be able to get in range, though. Oku Beam can get in range. Okay, that'll hit for 109. So I can hit for 109. Plus 109 plus 107. That's, 100, that's 216. If Barrel Dragon hits for more than 114, I can kill Ushioni. Perfect. Okay, Barrel Dragon can attack for a significant chunk. Or maybe I should maybe I should have given it the kill. Because with the kill, it would have gotten the level up. But now I deal 109 to Ushioni with Oku Beam. And now Lamoon can fly forward and finish off Ushioni. Which is kind of his biggest, most powerful monster, as far as I can see. And immediately, there goes probably his best monster. And we can uh, level up. Nice. So Lamoon gets a level up. Perfect. With this attack, I destroy one of your monsters. Ah, Yugi. Excellent strategy. Wasn't really a strategy, I just did a little bit of basic maths, but okay. And we'll just move Skellingel forward to be able to pick away at him next turn. And I'm going to end my turn because I accidentally clicked no. Actually, what is that last Thunder Monster? Maybe that's a big deal that I should have been thinking about. Okay, Skellingel and Okubeam can probably do a lot to Karibo here. But we'll see what else he 
Let, we'll, we'll, we will see what he can do here. Because, I don't know, I feel like he wouldn't be saving that final... Like, I don't think he'd be saving that last thing for nothing. You know? It would just be kind of weird and out of place if he was. Okay, Okubeam can hit for 109 there. And I can just tank another hit regardless, so I'm okay. Ah. I wouldn't say things are becoming interesting. You're just taking damage, my guy. And now... Scalangel finishes off Karibo. Okay, so this is going very comfortably. Scalangel's about to get another level up at this rate. And Barrel Dragon can move forward. And I really should just move. I should, like, put a little bit of focus on the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Because honestly, I have not given it a single not move yet. Not bad at all. So what is this last thing? Like, why isn't he summoning? I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of actually bugging me a little bit and kind of freaking me out. Why isn't he summoning it? Oh, he is. It's a thunder dragon by the looks of it. I kind of expected a... Oh. Thunder? Light? What did that do? Oh. Everything in the area takes damage. Uh. That's not great. Wait, the crystal broke even more. That's, uh. Maybe a little bit of a, an ideal situation. But. I'm probably gonna sack Oku Beam here. I'll sack Oku Beam just for damage. Because now I can do 66. I'll do 66 damage. I will move Scalangel forward to where Okubeam was. And land another hit. And now Lamoon can fly in once again. And secure the kill. So Lamoon can finish off this Mega Thunderball. And get another victory in the column. 10 out of 10. Now... What else can I do this turn? 184? Wow, Blue Eyes White Dragon has a lot of AP costs, apparently. Maybe... Maybe the Blue Eyes White Dragon wasn't the play for this map. Just an outside chance, just a hunch. But let's see how it goes. Okay, Terror of a Terrible. Uh, let's let... let yeah, we can just let its animation play out and see how it'll finish off Oku Beam. Because there's no way Oku Beam even takes this hit. Now to think about it. Did I ever have Oku Beam as an actual card? I think I had Terra of a Terrible. I don't think I had Oku Beam. I know I never had Lamoon. I know I never had Barrel Dragon. I know I never had Taihoon 2. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I had most of the cards in this game. I knew I never had Needle Ball. Oh. Like, I never had any of the, like, original, original set, I don't think. That was a, that was a lot of movement there. Victories in my reach. But what is this? Is that a Thunder Dragon? Yes, it is. A bit weird that I would save that for so late in the duel, but okay. I guess I can just hit him. Yeah, I'll just hit him. Because realistically, what can he do? Uh, I could hit Terra of a Terrible, maybe? No, okay, I'll just move forward. I'll move forward one tile and just hit the Needle Ball. Wait, can Feral Imp get in range to hit? Feral Imp might be able to. No, it cannot. But my Barrel Dragon can get very close. And that will be in the danger zone for him next turn. Wait, have I moved Scalangel yet? I apparently have. Oh yeah, right, I attacked with- I need to attack with Lamoon next. And Lamoon falls just a tiny bit short of killing off the, a Needle Ball. But that thing definitely drops next turn. And we are in prime position to secure the win here. Okay, Barrel Dragon will take not a massive chunk. Well, actually, about a third. But honestly, as long as Barrel Dragon survives, I'm okay. Because realistically, 
I just don't want to lose my Barrel Dragon for the final duel. Because I don't know exactly what I'm going to be dealing with. Then... But I would quite like to have it there as an option. Because I know that things... That I know that things that are destroyed, yeah, you get access to them again the turn, a the duel after. Uh, and yeah, I could just go in, surrender, and just get everyone at full strength. But where would the fun be in that? Wait, he only attacked that side, so that means he'll probably attack this side next time. Honestly, I would be a bit more worried about that if this duel wouldn't be over by then. Okay, so Lamoon can finish off the Needle Ball. There goes that. Doesn't get much EXP, but that's fine. My strategies be so powerless? Uh, because I am gaming. <laughs> that's that's the secret, Shadi. I am currently gaming. Oh, and Scalangel also levels up to level, what, 7? Okay, Scalangel... I don't think Scalangel evolves into anything. But you know what? It's definitely... It's earned more than enough of in this playthrough so far. Oh, Barrel Dragon won't get the kill. Uh, I may just leave Barrel Dragon there then. Just for now. I can move Feral Imp forward. And I can move the Blue Eyes White Dragon. That has a very high movement cost, okay. Okay, Tower of a Terrible can hit Barrel Dragon again. So, I do need to be a bit careful, because I think... Wait, I think I just sacked my Barrel Dragon. Okay, I think my Barrel Dragon has to move now. Like, I think I need to get it out of the way and towards safety. But now Lamoon might be able to finish off Terra the Terrible. Not quite, but I can have Skellingel attack and get a nice chunk of damage out. So, let's just do that. Get rid of that, and then Lamoon can finish it off. I don't know why I'm suddenly focusing on getting kills onto Lamoon. Wouldn't be totally honest, but hey, here we are. So now let's attack and destroy Terra of a Terrible. Okay, we get 12 EXP for that. And now I can move Feral Imp forward and it's nearly in range to hit things. However... Uh, Barrel Dragon won't take any hits this turn, so I'll keep it where it is, I think. And now, the Blue Eyes White Dragon can slowly start to enter the fray. Now that, I've, now that I actually look at its stats, the Blue Eyes White Dragon is basically just Barrel Dragon in different... It's basically the same as my Barrel Dragon, only it has higher movement and less range. But now, all I need to do is get... Okay, we're going to take the damage on our side this time. This time. So Tariq will take a chunk, I think. Right? Okay. Okay, our Blue Eyes White Dragon took a chunk. But that was it. Okay. I guess maybe it was just... I don't know, maybe it was insecure about having a way cooler dragon in its way. So, let's land on... Wait, I can get 85? I can get 85 damage there, or I can move forward and hit for 109. Or I could move Skellingel. I can move Skellingel to where Barrel Dragon is. But the question is, can Tyhone kill Barrel Dragon in one hit? Wait, if I move it to here... Uh... Actually, yeah, it can't retaliate if I do that. So I can move forward, attack the Thunder Dragon with my Barrel Dragon. I can't. And now I can move. I can move Scalangel to where Barrel Dragon was and land a hit. It'll be resisted, so it won't do that much. But it'll be more than zero, so that's pretty good for me. And now I can move Feral Imp back. Uh, I can't get Feral Imp into a place where I could hit him, though. And I can't get it to be able to hit Tyhoon 2 either, so I'll just have it... I also just have it retreat. And I have just sacked my Barrel Dragon. I am good at this whole strategy thing, you know? Okay, I guess Barrel Dragon isn't coming to the grand finale, I suppose. 
that's not ideal. Unless the game misplays, which it doesn't, because of course it wouldn't. Okay, we lose our barrel dragon. That's not something I'm going to be happy about, but honestly, I entirely deserved that. Like, I completely misplayed that. I... Wait, I can't, I can't even make an excuse for that. That is entirely on me. And we can't finish that off, so maybe Feralimp can? Not from that range, it can't. I mean, it won't kill me. It won't beat me. I know that it can't do that. I don't think it can kill Skellingel in one hit either. So I'm just going to move everyone forward. I'm just going to move everyone forward and I don't think there's anything that he can realistically do to stop me. And I think that's two tiles away so I can't land on it. And Lamoon just got massively nerfed because of where I moved it to but I should be okay. I'll just end my turn off here and we should be good to go. Wait, my good Feralimp is in danger as well, okay. Hopefully I won't need any of these for the final duel. Okay, Lamoon. Wait, I'm gonna lose Lamoon as well. I mean, it's not bad enough for me to fully throw- Oh, wait. It's... Never mind, I was gonna say it's not bad enough for me to fully throw the mash, but uh... Apparently, that's fine. I may be in a bit of danger, but I don't think I lose anything. Aside from this is going to do a lot of damage now. Because all of our monsters, well, three of my monsters were just in that line of fire. It shouldn't kill any of them, though. But it'll definitely help them. No, it kills my feral limb. Oh, that is horrendous. That is actually worst case scenario. Okay. So, I can attack. Wait. I have a better idea. I can move. I can move Skellingel to there. Land a hit. Lamoon can also hit it. Lamoon probably won't get the kill though. It falls just short of the kill. But probably goes down anyway. But now I can go and attack the Thunder Dragon. Which will also have had a lot of EXP funneled into it since it got a kill on Barrel Dragon. So Tori gets less EXP than I expected it to, but okay. And I might as well just move the Blue Eyes White Dragon forward and end my turn. Okay, so... Oh, he, he's a attacking Tori and not going for Lamoon. Perfect, actually. Thanks, game. Thanks for saving Lamoon for whatever reason. Like, I guess it was more than willing to let one of my other monsters survive. Unfortunately for t unfortunately for Shadi, I'm not gonna just let his monster survive. This will finish him. So with that, we are now 24 and 0. We've had a fair few close calls, but uh, this should this now brings us up. This now brings us up into the range for the final duel. Okay, so, with that, Shadi is defeated. I will admit, that was incredible, Yugi. Okay, so, only one opponent left. And we all, we all know who our final opponent is going to be. Yugi, you have overcome my test. You have completely defeated me. Shot. I cannot wait to duel you again in the future. Until then, farewell. Goodbye. Okay, so Lamoon might actually get another level up here. Uh, because of the uh, EXP at the end of the duel. Okay, so we got 47. We got a good few levels up, actually. Okay, Place of Dark for Feral Imp. Torik levels up, Lamoon levels up, and our blue eyes white dragon levels up. Okay, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Ushioni, I'm gonna take the uh, Yeah, I'll take Ushioni, Taihon 2, and Thunder Dragon. I see no real reason not to. They are easily his three best things. 
And, uh, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to use any of them, but hey, I now have them. So let's just drop a save and end off today's episode here. So, today we managed to, to defeat uh, Shadi in the Sealed Sanctuary, and now we have but one duel left in this game. Unless there's a secret sixth area that I don't know about. But I think we're at the end now. I think our next duel is the final one. But, I'm going to end off today's episode here, and I will hopefully see... So, and I... So yeah. I'm going to end this one off here. Hope, uh, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined. And I will hopefully see you all next time for the grand finale of Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum. Okay. Thanks for watching. Later.